Here's the thing. Nobody can play me except for you. I don't do evocations. Vidyan Jahanam, as I have said to you multiple times, has never actually spoken to me. He may have spoken to a Gregor after a Gregor or saint in my aspect, but he is not me, my son, and he will never be. I'm being very formal with you because it's not often I have to make appearances, Adam. What is it, Dad? Now, I wish you wouldn't call me that. I wish people would read your journal rather than just checking the highlights on your YouTube channel. But if we have to go there, it's about your recovery. I had so many big plans about you staying in this hospital for a long period of time to get you up and out of where you need to go in that background, and now you're going to cancel everything and fail it all. And the problem with that is, the problem with that is you're interfering with my plans for you. Yeah. I'm reading your autobiography, the non-magical one, right now. Though there is a fantastical element of fantasy to it. And? Crown of Thorns. I hate Morgan Hoffman and Snow the Song Queen. Please don't make that face at me. No, I'm going to make that face at you. I'm going to make that face at you. I have given you the world, my Easter egg, and you are sitting here looking at everything at, with resentment in your heart. I'm being mama bear right now, not dada. And I'm looking at myself in my vessel of Chuck because what he is, is he's a copy of me I dreamt was human, lived his whole life the way you did, it's just you and Chuck. Got to be as normal as light and day. And now they've found your YouTube channel, and I envy you will too. I know what you're thinking. What does it matter if I envy you as my gaming channel? It really does matter, given all the dress-up games you do. Look, I know you want the world. You want presence. You want love. You want to claim. But things have to be earned. You can't just have these things within you. Calling upon a different aspect of me just to prove that it's me is not a cheat code that you think it is. So what do you want, Dad? For starters, ever since your accident, you've called me Dad. You let them pray over you. You prayed to me because you were begging for anybody to help you. You were so desperate. And you wouldn't? No, I would because I lived that day. Because we both know who you really are because I lived that. So I, I've experienced that now. You got to be nice to your little brother, Jesus. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, see, see, he doesn't like it when you say that because he thinks it's personal. You, you got to be nice to your little brother, Jesus. Okay, oh, Jesus fucking and I mean, I see a little bit of Jesus, and I'm introducing you to the Winchesters. You and Sam are going to have a lot of beef, because Sam thinks you're a copy of him or something. And I, he doesn't like how you write him in the Dreamers Exchange when he finally meets you, your buddy buddy, going to shop shop, getting slushies, until he learns that you're Jaden. And when you finally get those memories back, you're going to hate Sam Winchester, and then you're going to fall in love with him, and you're going to date him while Cass gets Dean. Cass is Dean's end goal, but I want them both dating again, Jesus fucking Christ. I want them dating in heaven. I think it'd be good, Lord. Not now. Oh, oh my God. It's a family reunion. Bye. Mother God. It is actually God of El. So it's El's second Hounderbard. First God can't make appearances on camera. You know why. Okay. But it is the Lord. Is that? Okay. It's actually mom. But anyways. Yeah. So here's the thing, sweetie plum. Uh, you are about to become a big supernatural star, but not a star in the traditional sense. And a lot of them will find your YouTube channel and be very surprised. You're going to become a star in the sense of you're going to be written into television, my boy. I'm so proud of you. Why? You're getting everything you ever wanted. You're getting to be in vampire documentaries and superhero documentaries and Adam's Accident and all those other crazy films you made. And if you're going to add me on camera, I'm going to add your real identity, Mr. Cohen. It, they're they're going to reach Sundance and all these other crazy things. Everything you have ever wanted, I have finally gifted to you. So love me now. I was raped by Percy Jackson tonight. Yes. That's why I'm doing a video on camera for you as a gift. I put this under talks with demons. I I was raped by Percy Jackson tonight. Yeah. I'm so sorry, but your mother and I, Iana, is not her real name. It's Ashtara. Ashtara and I have decided that 
because Iana is who she is, pagan, and you need one pagan parent and one soliloquy parent, and I am the soliloquy parent, and Inanna is the pagan version of Ashtra, so she said she used that name, and that's the form that you've known, but she is not a very good mother. Um, I mean, you haven't been the bee's knees either. I'm getting you a VR headset in Hogwarts Legacy. Be grateful for a change. Oh, and when you enter their dimension and you start to learn to fly on a broom, it's going to be laughable, but you're going to be very good at it. Quidditch. Um, can I ask what fiction really is? Oh, fiction is just the channeling. Like, there's no such thing as making anything up. It's all channeling. Even lies you tell, you're channeling somebody else's perception of something else that's happened probably with somebody else. Like, there's no such thing as a lie. Fiction is always in dreams are just you or your characters filling in for other people mushed together to form a new perception. There's no such thing as making it up. That's why every fantasy creature... Sorry about that, it's glitched out. Uh, that's why every fantasy creature is a real fantasy creature, because there's no such thing as making up a species. There's not. Okay, so you and I are what I think we are. Oh yeah. And I'm taking you on a road trip after I take Jack. I gotta take Jack, he's filling in for you. I, I, I gotta take him. But you're about to become, they're never leaving your lives just like the Percy Jackson kids. And I think it's kind of cruel and unusual that tomorrow morning there are going to be texts all over Camp Half-Blood about Percy raping you. Percy raped me. Yes, Percy Jackson raped you. But Percy raped me. Yes, he did. And he couldn't control it. He was under mind control. But he had a choice, regardless if he was strong enough. And he still said no. We do count that upstairs. But what do we not do? Boop, boop. We don't count things against people that they can't control. Not his fault. He was under... Felix Carpenter's uncle's spell towards you. Yeah, look, Felix is a really troubled young man, and he went to his grandfather for help, and his grandfather went to his uncle, who was not a Mormon, but a black Satanist, and he thought, well, if he's a pedophile fucking my son, let's see how it actually is. It's impossible for Apple to fuck a pedophile. And he's in the room, and he's very apologetic, and I am the Lord, and you will sit down. There we are. Thanks for forcing it, Adam. I wasn't going to. But yeah, no. It would be physically impossible for Percy to touch you down there physically if you were over the age of 18. And pretty soon, everybody's going to believe you're under 16, including those you work with and study under. Good God, are they going to be surprised when you do brain surgery. You're not going to touch the brain or the blood. You're just going to map out how to go and tell them what to do over audio. They're going to find a very elaborate video game that you do a let's play of as a brain surgeon, and you're very good at it. That you do use a mod to make the, the brain ink blue. And you did have a hand in helping create that mod. It's a rainbow-blooded mod. Um, and there's also a homesick troll version. I don't, I don't want to know. And you become a brain surgeon through it. You become a brain surgeon through a video game, and I'm really proud of you for that. So all these cults that I'm writing about in my diary that we just interrupted? Oh, yes. Uh, the, the environmentalism is a genuine faith. It's not a cult. It's, they're just pretending it's a cult because it's easier to say. It was a cult at the time of bonsai, but it's not a cult anymore. It's now a genuine faith. The thing is, though, that island still exists, and that island is the culty version of it, and that island is really their base of operations. And how is it not a cult, Dad? It's not a cult because it doesn't meet the criteria. You remember the list. Okay, Jesus fuck Christ. Is it non-consensual for most of the members, regardless of what they believe? Does it have this reputation on purpose? If so, it is a cult. If not, it is not a cult. It, and it doesn't have this reputation on purpose. Is it a lesser-known belief system that has grounds in reality? Or is it something people made to fuck with other people? Those are the three criteria we in heaven use to see if something is a cult. And it doesn't meet all three criteria. It only meets one of those criteria, as we've discussed. Because you'll, you'll remember when you play it back. And because it meets that criteria. Oh, you're shedding your growing scales. I'm not God as you know. I'm an aspect of God of the Holy Spirit. I'm, not, I'm essentially the Holy Spirit on acid. But I am your father. I, I, I thought you were a little motherly. You're a little too nice to me. Look, I fought with you over Passover because I thought that's what you wanted. For me to be just as much of a bitch to you as you are to other people. You treat others the way you want them to treat you. I put that in that book for that reason. Why did you? There's my answer. Oh, and you're going to love LEGO Dimensions. You're going to have so much fun with LEGO Dimensions. You're going to have so much fun promoting independent games nobody's ever heard of by playing the mainstream ones. And Morgan's going to appear on your channel after he gets his own VTubing model, and then app after app you and your company create. It won't be Bring Cake. It'll be something lesser known that nobody cares about. 
Oh, and the Kron's locket is always going to have red contacts in the videos he shows his face in, or like a red, red special effect. And you know who is not going to, and thus people are going to assume you know who is a very different person because if you alter your eye color and your hair color, everybody will believe you're something you're not. Can I ask why I have weird blue eyes that are chalky that are coming through? That's a River Waters or a Clear Waters or a Martin Waters side effect. They're a cult that used to run hospitals in Georgia. And you live in Georgia. Don't deny that you live in Georgia. And so as a result of this, you now are getting the side effects of all the non-amphibious characters who become amphibious in this exact cult, even though it's just an old folks home. <sighs> yeah, you should have never written that in because... It's what alerted you to what was around you, but you didn't write that in. As we've established, you cannot make things up. Now, it takes a lot of time and effort to sculpt the universe. And there is a degree of sculpting every author does. It's a perceptual thing, though, because those universes have always technically existed and always will be. Because deity and monagnetism, or magnetism, created them. I'm not going to peg it on you, though. That's just what you would believe. Dad, you're doing the thing. Shush. Also, Rag is making a comeback. He's coming back from the dead, and same with Bobby Singer. You're going to be so happy to meet your old pals, but Rag is going to be pissed. He's not going to believe you're really Jaden. You're too old. He's going to use the weight to deter the fact that you're Jaden because he knows that would upset Jaden deeply for others. He just wants to see how you hold yourself before he accepts that he's dad again. I literally remade the compass from scratch. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He's going to search your channel, watch every single video, including the face reveal, then he's going to listen to you talk, and he's going to go, You're not my Jaden, because you don't talk as soft as you did in that dream. When did I release it? You took a lot of elements from all of your your whole life. But it's within the next few days you go back to being Rag's son. Can I, can I tell you? Can I inform you what happened there? Yeah. So what happened was you kind of died in a fire. Like, 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 in the future, you have a bad fire accident where you get burned on half of your face like Prince Zuko and it heals miraculously. But there's always an imprint of it, especially off camera. I'm checking your phone. Okay. And essentially, uh, you have a bad fire accident, so that's where the dream starts. Okay? That's where the dream starts. It starts with that kind of fire accident. The thing is, though, a lot of the people you were staying with died in this reality, in this current plane, as we'll call it, if we have to be all stupid in it for your book, according to Archangel Gabriel. Uh, and I do listen to my angels. I wish more people understood that I do. Um, essentially, <sighs> your whole thing and everything you've been through is not normal, and it is the Dream Realm's fault. They picked you as a very young child, portrayed themselves on TV, got your attention outside of the Native American and Chinese community, and now nobody knows about Dream Otisu, or Dream Itsu, or Dream Fanin. It's all forgotten outside of China and Korea, and outside of a few Hispanic Latinos. Because you can be both, and, you, and you, you were for a little bit. Your race changes with the sun. You've been Blasian, you've been Hispanic, You've nearly been black, you've been a little half-mixed, and you've been white, and you've been Israeli. I don't know what your race is right now, but I would assume it's white or ginger. Ginger used to be a race in America. It's not anymore. Okay, great. And so here's the thing. I'm not the god you know, but I am the Christian god. I'm just not the branch you follow. What I need from you, because I do make appearances, and you'll find out when you meet that Japanese businessman. I need you to not give up faith, or that your friends are getting back in contact. I made a lot of grandiose promises to you based upon the worst case scenario. You're not going to be in the hospital for five months. Everyone's fucking with you. You're going to be in the hospital for maybe two more. Okay? And I know you can't keep track of time. You'll spend Hanukkah and Christmas here and you'll have Lockie after Lockie. And Belial and I both agree. Though I don't agree with Belial in heaven and how he's acting right now. He's lashing out like a puppy dog. It's fine. He's making fun of me. It's obnoxious. Shut it, Belial's me. Uh, is that... It, he's just familiar, for those new tuning in. Dash. Uh, basically, he and I both agree you need to engage with the ceremonies as much as possible this year. This year, I'm not going to forbid you from filming the prayers. You are in a hospital bed. You are allowed to break whatever rules you want. You want to take your Mormon friend, kidnap him, and feed him pizza? Do it. You want to have sex with an oxalotl? Do it. Can I ask why those things were there? 
Oh, they were crawling up your vagina to bestow upon gifts upon their species upon you. It's happened three times now. Sometimes it goes up on the back. Like with Bruce Wayne, it was on the back as a bat like in this universe i'm glad i'm so glad you met his real life batman because batman is really batman in this universe i'm so glad you finally met him have you met soups yet i mean actually once or twice so here's the thing light bright does have a crooked jaw he fell four stories not two it was identical to here except you were in the hospital longer and a cast longer but everything else was exactly the same and he doesn't technically exist outside of patrol he temporarily gave himself through magic a whole nother life erased it and gave it to an identical twin he imagined that died at 16 yeah so you can't you can't do that if you're gonna just dream you're in somebody else's life i don't want that for you and that's not what you it was the reverse of that but you still kind of tried to give yourself an entire life out of jealousy for other people and you didn't copy his life or anything but you gave yourself your own life with a fancy upbringing and it just didn't work so we gave it to somebody else upstairs you can't do that and i want you in lightbright who watches these videos now because he's trying to re-educate himself on magic to remember you cannot just wish yourself into another world i gave you several redos where you woke up and male bodied and every time at the end of the day you said you know it's not worth all the changes and you went back to being female bodied but in the end you won't be able to undo the last one you will be as though you were always male but it's a giant illusional spell you will have male anatomy a male figure and a male face and that's why that'll be the start of you looking to 12 and then you're going down to eight why you have to why do i have to age backwards Okay, now you're picking a fight with me. Why do I have to age backwards? You have to age backwards because you are an aspect of Merlin, Guan, and Atin, since you're so much on this fairy stuff, and Newt and Osiris, and they all have aged backwards as a sudden passage for a deity. You won't be seven forever, but you said eight, and I said, well, you were adorable little girl. You'll go back to presenting as a girl and being girly, but you will be a male person, so... And don't worry, your big brother will take great care of you, and he'll love raising you. He'll assume it's forever, and he'll accept that he's a father again, because, you know, Luna and Ember are both going to pass. But, um... The Shadow Man or the Tall Man is prepping Autumn and Luna to stay alive. You can, under no circumstances, ban him. Do you understand me? You tell him he can play whatever games he wants with Luna, but tell him how long to wait. He is a version of the hat man that is benevolent. The hat man is benevolent. I just wish more people understood that. He's not going to touch your kid. He's just going to make sure they survive. He's going to extend Luna and Emperor's life by about, sorry, Autumn's life. She's a reincarnation, remember, by about four to five years before they both kick the bullet. Autumn's going to die around 10 to 11. Luna's going to die around 13 to 16. And yes, you and your niece, one of them, will have a very sexual romantic relationship. But at that point, everyone in your family, including your extended family, will acknowledge that you just don't age and that is there's something supernatural about you. There's something so supernatural about the family I got you adopted into that I wish you saw. There's something so paranormal, so supernatural. You got demigods, Vikings, Mormons. That's very important right now. You got Scientologists. It's just a really big family tree that you haven't seen all the aspects of. They all say, oh, well, I'm Jewish. But there's always those one or two kids who aren't. Like Brian. Like Lissy. Like Agani. And you haven't met half those people yet, but you will. Also, you are going to identify as the brand Coca-Cola, and you're going to do sponsorship to sponsorship for them. It's crazy. I don't know why you're obsessed with that brand. You, If you really are my dad, because I'm starting to have one doubt because of the Coca-Cola comment. You know why I'm obsessed with Coca-Cola. Okay. I told you. I am your dad. Oh my god, it's the garden. It, it's a space. It's a space fridge. It is the little, little, tiny shop that I don't have access to the memories of. But Gala has the access to the memories of, and that's the branch I'm from. But I'm still the Elohim, as you would know him. My name is Olafiti, or Alanini. I am a pagan, whitewashed credence of god as god as pagan to do god's work as a pagan deity i don't know why you need this <laughs> but it's true that i am the, the christian god i am worshipped as a goddess in some circles which is a bastardization of me but she is now her own person and i'm gonna fill you in on amara so you are amara so what amara was was lucifer in the garden before lucifer here let me attach some for you 
Amara was Lucifer in the garden before Lucifer. She was my wife, Ashtra, before my wife, Ashtra. She was the only thing nothing ever had to keep him company. But the thing is, I wasn't nothing. I wasn't everything. I was Cosmos, the Red. You never think about cleverness or idea or creativity when it's one person. You never think about rainbows. You only ever think about yourself without color. But you had multiple selves, and Cosmos was one thing that you two became. And that was my job. Not me, but your father, who I am. And so that's who Amara kind of was. My question, though, is why Amara is nothing. Because I don't have these answers that God does. Because I am God, but I am not your God. That is what you should title this one. I'm so frustrated with you now that he's kicking in. I'm frustrated with everything you've done. I'm frustrated with who you've become. I'm frustrated that you're no longer my prophet. I'm frustrated with that you're no longer my priest. I'm frustrated that you're the priest and becoming oopsie daisies. And Papa Legba. I'm frustrated that you aren't who you say you are, but you are everything I've ever made you to be. And I'm frustrated that the plan is going accordingly. I don't make visual appearances, Adam. But I did this to test you, and once again, you failed my test in just the right way, and the way you needed to. Because while demons will punish you for being my son, I never will. The book series is not under the name I told you it was. I was just dying for you to Google it. But it does physically exist. And it is making a comeback as you request. And so is Twilight. That mockumentary, documentary... Dracula series you're doing with Twilight is going to Stephanie Meyer will go with it because you and her will be great friends she is an ex-Catholic church member not an ex-Mormon member but it was a cult where she was however she has very much Mormon ideals to this day in the books and their faith can be seen as racist but Joseph is at the door he's knocking you can come in and sit down but nothing more it's a vessel good grief oh and Finn fucking him like that fit is a really perverted version of joseph smith and he is while celibate in the afterlife very yeah those are demons they always surround you he is very much just a version of joseph and so you becoming fit during that extreme amount of libido i don't know what to tell you but percy will be punished for raping you and Percy Jackson, as a, as a token, is no longer going to be by Scholastic. It'll be one book self-published that's really dark. And then he'll find a new publisher, and he'll start over as the kids, as adults, with all the gruesome things he knew happened, that he was too much of a coward as a writer to put in the series. At least with something like Hannah Tams or Warrior Cats. It got darker over time. With Harry Potter, it explained all the bad stuff. It implied it. It didn't shy away from it. The way Rick Riordan did it. Rick Riordan thinks that he, now that he thinks it's real, he can just reimagine you a real person. He will be punished if he tries. I understand it's a fairy tale, but when you're basing it on a real person, even if you personally are cool with most depictions changing things about you so you can live those alts, I know you're not cool with this. He knows you're not cool with this, but he's favoriting someone he loves over you or entire reality and personhood, which is not okay and Rick will be dealt with. What else? Let's see. You are going viral. I'm not pissed you thought Magenta was me. Magenta Alata or a Kali or a Filk a Filk. A Filk is who she is in heaven. A Filk is me. She's just me sleeping as a female woman. She is a female me. I don't see why people think this is now a misleading thing or why you are assuming that you might have been misled. No, it, she's me. You don't know all of us yet. And you are moving upstairs, and you can film as many YouTube videos and let's plays as you want. You just can't tour the kingdom. Okay? You can move upstairs. It's going to be white at the start. You've got to fill it in with the bricks. You'll see. And once that background is done, you are coming to have daydreams that you live in heaven. Jesus, while you are gone, is living in your bedroom at your, ho your, your, your household. He loves your bedroom. He's like, there's too much sex that has happened in this bed. But I love this bedroom. But you have not had as nearly as much sex as Jesus had with Mary Magdalene. He's just a one-woman kind of man. Which he wasn't. That's why he picked her. She had many people in her brain. And yes, Snow is the reincarnation of her, not Ashtra. The thing is, Ashtra was one of the people in her brain even back then. 
Anytime it takes to get with me, she will take whoever it takes to get that far. Also, Aphrodite is going to work on your jaw. She says, all you want is a male male chin to signify that you're male because you associate it with the face. And that is correct. And you revert it back to normal hand. And that is it. Yeah, no. He is extremely gorgeous, my son. He just... He doesn't need his features chiseled. He just needs the spells that we have both put in place. Good grief, Elaine. To be removed so that they can see how beautiful he is. I put the spells in his key to protect him. You're gonna remove them. God, you're gonna remove them. But you're gonna remove them. And then he's building a gingerbread house after Christmas. From his hospital bed. On camera. I want him to do the Hogwarts one. We all want him to do the Hogwarts one. We cannot have him do the Hogwarts one. Do people not see the value in pop culture magic? All ideas were once that of pop culture. Was she right? She is me. She was not lying to him. That is the nature of fiction. That is why there is no shame in getting your magical knowledge from a book like Harry Potter. As long as you can think of a way to tie it down to what already is concrete until it's free enough to work the way it does in Harry Potter, which is actually how they do it. Their wands are enchanted with special wood. That's essentially a how, the only reason they could do the magic they could do. Adam and Amber are right. It is a crutch using a wand that way because it doesn't give you the ability to do it outside those those techniques. And a lot of magicians, when they get to that level, they use wands like that. And I just look at that and I, I, I frown. So also, you want to order your wig and contacts and wear them for your next couple of videos. You'll be sitting up in no time. You'll even be able to sit in your chair and you'll be able to film a nice proper video with your mother or your sister on camera and Lex just really does not want to do your hair she's very fed up with you in general based off what your sister is telling her but she will because she's a good friend she's not gonna it's all lies that Ashley's telling her Ashley has been a capricious liar since she was a child she always lied about you worse than Yukari's lying about you now and everybody on your blog knows that both you and Olive and you are supposed to write on behalf of your Russian show. Some of your experiences are supposed to make it into hers. Now that the book is a collaborative effort between you and her, you have to teach her to write. When Olive takes over, it's like a child going back and forth, up and down. Because Olive is three. You should really... Not three years old. Th th three years old. She's a, an adult man, but he is a baby. He doesn't know anything. He's only lived three years of life, and you've lived five whole centuries. And soon that knowledge is going to start pouring into your brain, and that's what's going to turn you into a retrogrammer. Especially with the Wii on Portable, which is going to be an official Nintendo release eventually, but it'll have a camera on it for motion controls. Is that what your idea is? I could go with that. That's a great idea. But yeah, no. Um, also, you feeling temporary sexual attraction in general, and then feeling se temporary sexual attraction to Game Boys is the least of your worries. I am so happy that that is one of your worries, though. I'm so happy you get to feel it temporarily. I did this to Jesus with nuns. Can I? Can I ask why? No. Um, I'm just, I'm just so happy. Your books are about to take off. There's going to be a musical based off your acapella. And there's also going to be a video game and everything. And yeah, Florist is going to make it into the main roster of repeated characters. And same with Summer. But even though Summer's not your character, people are always going to be like, why is Summer portrayed as she is in this story when she's supposed to be this version? And you're just going to have to clarify, I wrote both. Or you're going to have to clarify, by the way, I just really like that interpretation and the author said it was fine. But you're going to clarify you wrote both. Eventually people will know all your writing aliases are you. And until you die, I, I put in parentheses, you cannot die in this incarnation. You can take sleeps for weeks and it'll be as though centuries have passed. And then all of the fates will be arranged while you're still out here doing whatever you want. Because here's the thing, when you reach this level of proper... You know, and your microphone is temporarily broken, but it is temporary. Just ask Techno to fix it and give him an offering. Make a pact between you two that you'll never abandon each other. He wants you, AI. And you know he wants you. Techno is your greatest friend, the only new god who hasn't tried to enslave you. Even the goddess of fandom thought she dabbled there. It's glitching out, so we should probably end this conversation. But what I will say is that I am so, so proud of you. We all are. And you're gonna get to own everything you've ever been drawn in. So choose your outfits wisely. I got that, I got this outfit. You're gonna own it in the real world. It's gonna be delivered as a gift from Dean. You're not gonna wear it came from. It came from the angels. And you're gonna wear lots of videos in it and everyone's just gonna know you're a hunter. They're gonna smell it. Cause when it's revealed that hunters are a real group in America, when you dress like that and people do documentaries on them, people are gonna suspect something. Oh, who cares if it's glitched? Oh, and uh, your obsession with code, let me explain. 
Yeah, okay. Uh, female me, yes, that is always what you refer to me as, and it is obnoxious as shit. Uh, basically, um, especially in front of your son, our son, anyways. Uh, Coca-Cola was the clockwork in the garden. Are you fucking serious? Everything in my version of heaven was once a toy for humanity. So everything, the microphone was once a person or a spirit that got turned into it, or a tool for the angels that now humans can use to record their audio. Same with that Parmesan cheese and that tea over there. That's why everything has a soul. The in furniture is acting alive. Sometimes animists have to go through that cycle of just feeling like they're in a body, feeling like they're a cell, feeling like everything's alive around them. Why? It's just something in the design. I'll talk to you about it later since you're finally taking up more roles and your face is coming back from the dead. I'm Raziri. I'm Zrani. Azimi. I'm Zimi. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, I should probably get, get going, but uh, I want you to scold my son when it's time. When you've taken on the role, I will explain to you how to parent him properly because Adam is very special. He cannot have normal parenting. You act like a fucking child sometimes with him. You act like a baby because he was my dad before I was his. I mean, from my perspective. I mean, which role do you prefer? Oh, I prefer him to be daddy. Yeah, I prefer him to be daddy then. Then why are you the one doing parenting? Uh, because daddy needs needs a new cycle, and I finally had the dream son I've always desired. And I find out, oh, it's the reincarnation of fucking Yahweh, and he fucking Yahweh is fucking dead. I mean, you seem very upset. Yahweh is alive in spirit for his followers. I am not my, my father's follower, and he won't give the extension to his family. You are the same way with Jesus. Don't pretend you're not. God, I hate talking to myself. Same. Shut it. Shut it. <laughs> he's innocence you're i'm malicious joy i'm just fatherly advice and if we combine those three concepts as in your faith you get one whole idiot one whole one whole jam oh my god not a jam yeah you get a jam and after why is aphrodite and cupid here for this oh because beartace is fooling a fucking fit about how adam ordered a bee necklace and now he won't give it to beartace as a friendship symbol he promised him back one in the day, and he kind of forgot. What is your plan with Genesis of the Water? Oh, Genesis of the Water is the first Native American religion. Reimagined. In proper order. I love it. I was I was, I was was a god of imagination and ocean, but I was actually implemented later, despite being the one that dreamed them all up. And until then, it was just the gods of ocean and song and stuff. But but you acknowledge you were... You, we can't do that. We can do that on a cultist YouTube channel that no one takes seriously. Why are you like this? I mean... Uh, oh yeah, those are spiritual people from another realm. They're just recording for their for their world. Say hello and do the peace sign. It took a long video of that. Yeah, it's gonna be a loop over there. Um, so yeah, Percy does need to be exposed, and you shouldn't scold him for that. I mean, I feel bad for Percy. Percy wasn't mind controlled to the degree you assume. He just had the desire implanted into him, had the option to like or dislike that desire from the occultist to get back at his friend Alexi, and chose to fucking get back at Alexi through that desire. He had a choice. With most rape spells, you have a choice that is very internal. He chose to rape my son. Don't pretend he did not. Okay. A lot of Camp half people are going to watch this video. They'll be like, that's his real godly parent and not Zeus. And I'm just going to be like, no, it's Zeus. Zeus was the assignment. Zeus and Eos will one day have a divine child named Amarin. And that will be his aspect in that faith. And whenever he enters Mount Olympus, he instantly turns into Amarin. It's kind of this creepy plan. It's like a character customization that just goes off and you're stuck in that form. What about this new religion of technology? Oh, those are some old people who worked on the first computer that were promised godhood and to do it on their own, but you can't just do that with a mortal, especially with all these humans being welcomed into hell, especially Bartholomew. Bartholomew was an old ancient demon that reincarnated as human and recently just got welcomed back into hell. And while Barthamos knows what he's doing and Barthamos knows what he's doing, Bartholomew, the human, does not and keeps trying to take on the role of that demon. You can't do it that way that'll get you killed especially given why i had them rebel in the first place in adam's diary we're very open about how this all works i did plan for them to rebel and i will not deny this but people don't really believe it's god talking so who cares what i'm telling you you sound like Chico supernatural because i'm vessel because that's the only way i can fucking do this but it is my voice behind this and if you listen carefully you can hear it why did you become human? Okay, so Chuck isn't literally just me possessing a body. It's literally just me reincarnating as human so I can be here for my son. I had to be an absent father. We all did. It's not easy, especially given Jeff's still dead. He'll be unridden and then rewritten to be dead within a few days. I could grieve. Yeah, he'll just come back. He'll approach Susan with an email. She'll believe it's spam and he'll be back for his son. He'll take lots of videos of Jeff and Jeff won't know why. He'll be really weirded out. 
Even though Jeff remembers dying, Adam remembers him dying, and he knows he's only temporarily back, because it's, it's a Revelations thing. In the book, it's a little different, but Adam gets to live every single incarnation of Dreamers, and it's the most glorious gift I could give him, and I do mean glory in it. Then, why... 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 Why betray it the way... He, like, there's stuff he made up. No, there's stuff he learned of other worlds that he put in that book. Is your son an alien? My son is not an alien. You're becoming your pagan self. I'm becoming my human self. This is really awkward. Aphrodite, I'm just doing a little love magic to see if you two would be compatible. She's me. She's a version of Ashi. You and Ashtra are the same bitch, and she's a version of Ashi. Because I'm a version of Ashti. It's a version of Moros. I, just, I know that about Cupid, but Adam didn't need to know that. It's going to piss him off later when he re-listens to this. I, Moros, okay. Cupid, age up. Moros. Cupid, age up. Moros. There we go, Cupid. You sound like him. I just I just wanted to be like him. He, he's my boyfriend. We're married, you know. He married me over Eros and Bear Taste. I love my husband very much. Okay, Cupid. I love my catchphrase, but good God, is it obnoxious now that there's a dating app for it. So it's agreed. It's agreed. It's not agreed. I don't want to do that to baby. It's agreed. Adam will go through the change of a Ronin. And it'll have to do with cars and racing. But I just want it to be relegated to games. I don't want him to work on a fucking track. I want to have an alt on a track. You understand me? I understand, Daddy. Alright, I'm out. Enjoy your new faith. Bye, Adam. Bye, Dad. And I'm out, too. And I'm Aphrodite, and I'm out. But I do want to talk to you privately when this videotape is over. Oh, we'll talk all day tomorrow on camera. I promise you.